Hello guys, welcome back. Most of the companies, they prefer to set up fully automated CI-CD pipeline. For that, they choose various job triggering options available in Jenkins. Today, in this video, we'll see how a job can be automatically gets triggered using GitHub Webhook API. So let's start. So before doing the setup, let's first understand the concept of Webhook. Webhook provides a way for notifications to be delivered to an external web server whenever certain events occur on GitHub. Webhooks can be triggered whenever specific events occur on the GitHub. For example, we can configure a Webhook to trigger whenever code is pushed to a repository, a pull request is opened, a GitHub pages site is built, and a new member is added to a team. These are the various triggering options. These are the options when, if you configure, the webhook will automatically get triggered. If you have not yet subscribed my channel, please do subscribe now. Let's first log into your GitHub repository, okay? First, go to your repository and choose the project which you want to use for the job to trigger. Suppose I just want to use this particular project, DevOps Wave. And here, what you have to do, you have to just go to the settings of this particular repository. And you can see here one Wavehook button is available here. Just click on this. And here you can see we have this add Wavehook. Just click on this and it says adding the payload URL. So this payload URL, what we have to put it here. Suppose we are going to use the Jenkins as the external server, right? So from GitHub, we are going to trigger the Jenkins job. So now I have to put here the payload URL of the Jenkins. So let's copy the Jenkins URL. Just paste it here. And what you have to give it here after that you have to put that api that is called github hyphen webhook slash okay so you have to put like this github hyphen webhook now uh, the contain type let it be their application and this format and here let's select send me everything okay uh, so any changes happen any commit you do directly in the github or you need push you did from the local uh, git to the github so it will automatically get triggered now just select add webhook so you can see here our webhook has been added and it is success actually it is uh, tick mark is last delivery was successful right so what we can do now so let's log into the jenkins server we have set up the webhook here now we have to set up the jobs and there we have to select that particular option to trigger the job now let's go to the jenkins let's create a job suppose uh, give a name uh, suppose i'll give us a pipeline job something like this select pipeline okay i'll give the descriptions whatever you want provide here now in the build trigger option you can see we have various build uh, trigger options available, but we are concentrating now on the Git of hook trigger for Git SCM poly. So select on this particular option. Now let's go ahead in the definition, select uh, state from the source code management, Git. Now you have to provide this repository where we had set up the payload URL for that, right? Where we had set up the webhook. Now, Let's go to this project, this particular DevOps web repository, right? Now let's copy or clone this uh, URL, this HTTPS URL. This repository, what we have to do, paste it here. As it is a public repository, it will not ask for any credentials. If you have the private repository, you can just provide the credentials. You know how to add those, right? Now what you can do, we have to specify the branch. Now, 
to get the branch you can see here i have around 24 branches available and you need to select which branch need to be used suppose i need to use this uh, dev 1.1 hyphen b7 so let's go ahead write it here dev slash 1.1 hyphen b7 right now all these things are correct and script path will be jenkins file now let's save it you can see here it has been saved if i just you can either build it manually if i select, click on the manually the job will start building here so what happens here i just manually triggered the build suppose if i just go and check the logs it's you can see it is success now uh, if i just go and check it it says like started by user ranjit swan now how this one will automatically gets triggered like as we saw the definitions like uh, if any um, configurations happen every any changes happens to the github repository a trigger will automatically will happen right so what we can do here suppose i need to modify something in my jenkins file or any any kind of repository or any file inside this repository for this particular branch for this particular Brand. suppose i just want to edit this jenkins file let's uh, edit this jenkins file i'll just little add it something like unit testing here commit changes so as soon as i commit the changes you will be seeing here one automatic see automatically one job triggered so the trigger automatically happens from the github if i just go here and uh, go to the settings and check the webhook you'll see the delivery has been made if you just go and click this uh, particular things you'll see the logs of this one right recent deliveries go here and you can find here you can see the push first thing when we create it just pinged it to make sure that uh, we are able to connect to the jenkins server now you can see here the logs just click on this and you can see here this is the request been sent and this is the response when we got 200 response which is success right so now and the push is success if i just go to the job and you can see here uh so what is it pending uh wait for just uh you can see here it is success right now if i just go to the job console output you can see here it is being started by github push by the repository name by the user name from the github so you can see clearly it is being started by github push so this is how you have to set off the github webhook and this is very beneficial uh, because you don't have to manually trigger anything you don't have to worry about any jobs started or not because uh, whenever any changes occur uh, done by the uh, de development team okay or a devops engineer it automatically gets triggered and your build will be ready for you so that's all guys um if you have any doubt or any concerns please do write me in the comment section below i'll try to answer your queries if you have not yet subscribed my channel, please do subscribe that you'll get notified when I add more videos on my channel. Thank you.